All right, we're back on the 97 today. Uh, we've got to do a front left uh, brake hose, which I've got here. And then I think while I've got the tires back off, I'm gonna put in the new uh, sway bar links. Because when I bought the vehicle, there were none in it. A uh, previous owner at some point had taken them out. I assume to, I assume to put new ones in it, or maybe they just left them out. But we're gonna we're gonna put some new ones in. I've had those in boxes in the back for a while. So that was the wrong brake hose, apparently. I swear I'm up and down, I ordered front left, and it was the exact opposite of that, so. I don't know, I uh, wasn't in the mood to uh, wait for another one. I think I got this off rock out real cheap. I uh, fudged it. Bent this bracket back a little bit so I could do the bolt the other way on this one. That one, obviously I got it sitting out of the keyway, but I was able to save that brake line if you uh i don't know i don't know if i'll time lapse it or i don't know what i'll do but uh 
I was a, I used the old line and I spun the old line off of like the old hose off of the line. Like I spun the hose around the line because the line is seized to the fitting or was. But once I had it free there, I had a little more space to get in there with a torch and get some. I brought a can of fluid film to go up in here and spray the shock while I was in here. And it's also a really good penetrant, so I was using that. But I was able to get up in on both sides of the fitting and get in there, and it eventually broke loose without breaking that line. That was that would have been a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, naturally, this is wrong, so I spun the hose in here so it wasn't tensioned so much. It's got a funny loop, but it's out of the way of everything. Um, anyway, it's on. Uh, they didn't give me crush washers with it, so I had to reuse the old ones. It doesn't look like it's leaking. Uh, this is the fluid we got out. I had this, I bought this for like four bucks on Rock Auto when I bought the line. They were like, hey, do you want a brake bleeder? I'm like, sure, show me. So I gave it a shot, and uh, that worked brilliantly. That was that was cool. And I know what some people use, like a, like a water bottle, and they stick the hose through it. And I've seen that on my junkyard digs, I think. That's what I've seen do that, but this was cool. It's a little, a little dark. It's not, it's not terrible. Could be worse, whatever. It'll be fine. We got that much out of it anyway. And I think, do I gotta, I should top that up a little bit more. Oh no, it's full. Never mind. I just couldn't see it from the, the side. So that's good to go. Cool, got another can of brake fluid. Anyway, um, I uh, had my younger brother step on that pedal after I had it bled and uh, make sure it locked up and released, and it locked up and released just fine. So we'll take that down the road after we uh, bolt these guys up, and I think these are universal. Yeah, the part number's the same on both. I've done enough of these, I should have known that, but whatever. Memorize how to figure out something, not memorize the one thing. You can apply the how-to a lot more than you can the one individual thing. I, mean, I think I was taught that in like middle school. Saves on like brain consumption or something like a... How many things you gotta remember, I guess. If you remember how to do, how to find the answer, you can apply that to multiple things instead of memorizing 10 different answers. I don't know, it made sense. I guess. In that case, let's look at the part numbers instead of trying to remember if they're the same on every model. So we got a bolt, or yeah, a lock, locking, plastic locky bolt. Not a bolt, and not, not, I knew I, knew I was saying it wrong. Um, you're gonna have to get used to that because I will do that till the end of time. Why? I don't know. These are weird. These are like shiny, I wonder they were cheap, they didn't paint them. Ooh, whatever. I'd paint them, but eh. Might spray some of that on them. And you can hear the, the planner in the background. The numbers are out. Planning. Is there nothing in there? Is that just... Nope, guess that's nothing else. So, these are pretty, pretty simple. I think it goes in like that. So we're gonna do that. I think I'll put you back up on the tripod. Let's see if I can get you in a spot where you can see kind of what we're doing here. Maybe like here. Go with that. If you can see, you can see. If you can't, well, that's unfortunate.
All right, we got them in. So that one I was able to get with my uh, three-quarter inch ratchet, or not three-quarter, half inch ratchet. The other one I got with a three-quarter wrench on the back here, slowly around. A lot easier when it's new hardware. Getting this stuff out, usually it's cut, 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 cut. Because you can never get these to break free off of there, and yeah, it's a pain in the ass, so. But the new one's going on. The new that that's way easier. So cool. We just gotta get tire back on here, get this back on the ground, clean up my mess, go over there, and uh, do the other side. So we'll do that real quick. Shoe into baby tripod. And I can hold the tripod and I can grind up my phone. Or hold the phone without holding up my phone. And I got that one in. I uh, wasn't thinking. I'm pretty sure I bought bushings for this. Um, let's see if I can get you up there. We'll see how well those ones do. Alright, so we're good. I just got to put the tire back on. We're going to take for a ride, put some gas in it. I'm gonna go around with this can of fluid film and I'm gonna grease up a few things. Cover that part. We don't, we don't, we don't look there. It's fine, no rust. All right. Coldish, warmish start. Warm start, 234, 250. Uh, it reads we have gas again now that it's flat on the ground and not jacked up. That's cool. Aha, no warning lights. Let's go. Now let's see if this brakes work. They seem to stop. riding here. Oh yeah, that feels much more even. Nice. All right. I'm going to go get some gas. All right. Yeah. Um brakes work fantastic. Sway bar bushings, I think they're good. Um, this thing handles, believe it or not, way better going around corners with a sway bar in or hooked up. Um, I went in, I topped off the transmission fluid, I topped up our steering. Uh, coolant looked good, brake fluid looked good. Uh, added a little bit of refrigerant. So I uh, charged this system up for the first time naturally. It was completely empty after sitting for who knows how long when I bought it at auction. Charged it up, see if the compressor kicked in and worked it. That all worked. Uh, so that's all. That's good. That's good. And it blew coldish air. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, our next order of business is the switch right there. Because our 
rear right switches, it goes this way, but it doesn't go back that way. That one works, these all, but this one down here is no good. So to do that, we gotta take this screw off, this screw off, which allows this panel to come off, and then I think there's three screws on the backside. Okay, I'm on now. I'm like half a thread on, I guess. Yeah, maybe a few threads. Okay, there was a lot of threads still. We're gonna set him down there. We're gonna go at this one right here. fight me. Mosquitoes are getting pretty bad out here. Ay ay ay. I even sprayed myself too. Okay. So that should allow yep. With we pull the handle out of the way. Now that right there is our switch and oh it's uh what are those like eight mil seven mil five sixteenths actually i think so we're gonna go ahead and go retrieve that all right new switch is in let's see okay the auto works Got nothing on the left side, rear. Right side rear started to open. That might need some help. That one might need some help. Nothing from this one. This one sort of started to work. Which, that was the broken switch, so. We made something, something happen, anyway. So yeah, so like, so I'm thinking, either it's no good or it just, should I be able to do that by hand? I don't know if I should be able to do that by hand or not, but that's been shut a very long time. Now you, should I? So that one, I can't even pull it. I don't know what's up with that one. Now, can we shut? I don't know that that motor has enough power, so it shuts it all the way, but it does not, does not open it all the way. I'm thinking that our motors are no good. All right, so diagnosis is switch works. Our new, our rear one will partially open. So our front two work. Our rear right window will open partially our left window does nothing so i think that motor is cooked or unplugged but hey our right one does something so hey that's better than we were before anyway we fixed the switch so we're gonna put this back together call that good and i think that's good enough for this vehicle anyway got it all brake problems what needed to be addressed but we got a couple other little things here now we can uh resume driving this one right up. All right, 
right. just got back from uh, town um, we started getting hot I had to turn the AC off and click on the uh, um, I guess the heat in the vehicle uh, our AC rad fan was working but I smell smoke there's smoke coming out of this radiator fan and it was not working the wires are cooking hot I think we just smoked that radiator fan holy crap well, we made her home but she's cooking and like redline the heat gauge or whatever, but there's not having fun keeping up, I'll tell you that much. 88 degrees out running the AC. <laughs> Goddamn. Yeah, we just smoked that radiator fan. Does it even move? Holy shit, it's locked up tight. Oh my god. Wow. All right. It's a new radiator fan. Well, I just hosed it down. That fan wasn't spinning very fast earlier. Now it is cooking. So, good. We came back to life, but uh, it's cooled down now. Bruh. And we're not running right now. I need to unhook that other fan because it was smoking trying to run here. Probably still is. Yeah, that's no good. But yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's, that fan is gone. I can't move it at all. Wow. The fan's starting to slow down. Holy crap. Ah, heat's still going in here. Some water flowing. Cause will that fan stay running now? Oh, with that fan running, we might be doing a little better. Let's say we got her cooled down. Oh, I got it all shut down. It's all cooled down. But uh, that fan over here is being a trooper. It's staying on. I I don't know. I mean, I know it. What? Any well, the, anytime the ignition is on, the ignition is off. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so. But uh, she's still running. I mean, I know this van's got its share of cool electrical gremlins, so I don't know what that means. I don't care. I'll, I'll let it stay running. See how long it stays running. I'll keep an eye on it. I think in our radiator fan relay decided to uh, cease existing after the radiator fan uh, decided to quit functioning. Yeah, I wonder if the fan didn't, like, get hot and cause that to go. I don't know. Or this failed, sort of. I, I don't know what happened. Something, something happened here and nothing works now, so I'm just going to pull the battery until I can get the relay out, so that's cool. Uh, it's just going to be a short little clip here, but uh, this is the uh, hatch we pulled off of the uh, 98 Town and Country LXI. That is what the PG8 green is, I think, the paint code. I've got the emblems pulled off here already. Got it out of our uh, 93 caravan that we hauled it in. Um, I've been a little ambitious, and we got that one off. Um, so there might be 
just a hint of surface rust going on there. Just a little bit. Nothing, nothing structural. Like, like nothing, nothing structural here. Like, oh, as I destroy that, nothing structural. Nope. That is, that is surface rust. A little bit of rust converter and it'll be as good as new. Yeah, that's rough. Like I said, this uh, whole latch assembly isn't even held on. Yeah, like this, this doesn't work. None of this work because the inside here is held to nothing. So that's why I needed that because this, that was like that rust. You couldn't see that there. It was covered up by this plastic trim because this has the uh, plastic trim around the entire lower part of the vehicle. This is paint. That's all metal. And I may or may not leave it like this and not put this on. We'll see how it looks. I think it's gonna look better like this. But uh, now we gotta get the plate off. Uh, the emblems I gotta get off and get some, um, what do you call it? It's like a double-sided 3M tape, but they make a specific roll for like automotive badge trim piece. It's automotive trim tape, that's what it's called. Um, get a couple other little odds and ends like see this is the oh no this is green too this is color matched like that one probably take that assembly off keep that um if the arm will come off of the wiper motor we'll do that i think that wiper motor is new uh and then we'll probably throw this back behind the shed let it hang on to it for a year in case i need a rear glass after a year it goes to the scrapyard Something like that, or next time the, uh, uh, the trailer gets loaded for scrap, which later end of the year is usually when I do that. So we'll hang on to it till then, because it is a it's a good glass. But you know, I can get glass at a junkyard. I can grab any old hatch and I get glass. I think this one's yeah, it's got a scratch right there. It's not bad, but there's our new radiator fan assembly. I don't know if I told you about that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. There was a clip on that. It'll probably be in this video because I don't think that's gone into anything yet. Yeah, so there's our assembly. I got the relay sitting up front. I've also got the uh, rear power window motors up front. Those got to go into this. That'll probably all be in this video. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of clipping here and taking a clip, recording. Or words and mash it together I guess wherever it fits I'm not gonna show you doing that because doing that by yourself is pain that one was easy to take off because it was lighter <laughs> but uh yeah it doesn't have like the trim on the back or anything either and what's funny is I I figured I'd end up with a miscolored one that had the wrong interior so I went and I bought the correct trim panel for the what the silver fern that van is silver fern so it matches now i got an extra piece of trim that's gonna sit around and take up space cool these shocks are real nice so these ones these ones are go up right now i don't know are these i think these are oem i think that's oem that bushing's a little wore out some up and down play on that. Well, that's fun. Not that that really matters, but yeah, look at that one. Huh. Yeah, look at these bushings. Or I guess like it's it's not really a bushing, it's just a you know, metal yeah, socket. That's pretty rusty. Look at that. I guess that's from this thing sitting however long it sat. That's cool. All right, yeah, like I said, out with the old, in with the new. Uh, there's our initial install. Looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave the green. I think I'm gonna leave it. Uh, body lines look pretty, pretty even. It's not bad anyway. This all lines up. Maybe a little high here. I 
that might be, is that the bumper sagging? Some of that's the bumper for sure. But uh, we're in on this side just a little bit, so we gotta come out. This side's freaking perfect. Top looks even all the way across. I think I can make one adjustment here, and if I pull this out, I bet you it'll bring that in too. We're not hitting anywhere. Latch shut's perfect. I can actually open this from the outside before I, because I have the uh, panel off here. Well, it didn't come with a panel because the prior owner had this problem. Um, I had to go in and pop the latch from the inside. But uh, now I can open the lift gate from the uh, outside. That is freaking mint. I got to switch the locks over if I can get that one out and free it up. Or was there a, there was a key with this fan, wasn't there? I wasn't thinking. Because I should have just grabbed that key. And then just have a different trunk key, whatever. Not a big deal. But it uh, shuts right, so I don't have to do any latch adjustment. It lines up. It's sturdy. It's not rusty. Okay. Don't think I shut that. There we go. Now, does the... I guess I can put the battery in it. I'll see if the power lock works. Wiper and everything. Oh, quad's already popped. Yeah, I knew that. Alright, wake up, Mr. Fan Relay. Coldish start because it's 80 degrees out. Well, I hear it. It definitely works. How about that? So that's that's good. Just can't really test it, Frost. What is there? Oh, hey, we got a burned out light. Um, what was I testing? The lock. I just heard it lock. So, uh oh. Did it? Heck yeah, does it unlock? Oh, like butter. And I got a trim panel back there, so it looks way. Is that the right color? Yeah, that's the right color. No, it's not. They're so close, I can almost not tell. But I don't think that's. Or is it because it's dusty back there? I bet you it's dust. Maybe? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I've got the right color if I need it. Uh, well, that's cool. Everything works. Got a burned out light. That's not bad. Nice. Like that battery. Chill out. I'm gonna get that off. Put that on there. Okay, we got a flathead. This should come out. I've just put that plate on there this winter, so. That's gotta be the right color, because this is the right color. Those are, that's right. I, it, this is dust. That's gotta be dust. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care. It's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. That. I think I can pop that out. Something like that. Yeah, right there. I just changed that light. Is that how I get that? I don't remember how these come out. I'm pretty sure that's right. Do I have to pop it on this side too? Try not to scratch the trim. Yeah, like that. Get in there with a thinner screwdriver maybe, but. Uh, yeah, there's a bulb in there. And yeah, I think it's burned. 
All right, well, I'm going to do that. Transfer the plate over. I mean, that's, I don't know if you guys necessarily need to see that, but cool. That's a win, and it's out of my van. Gray van. I say van. It's gray van, that one. Oh, that looks real nice. Uh, turn So this side, we were perfect. This side, I turned the adjuster screw out a bunch. And uh, guess what? It's freaking perfect now. Um, this is a little high here. It could probably come down maybe just a little. Which, if it comes down, it might go out up here. And I'll probably have to turn that back in. But uh, low-key, the uh, latch hits perfect. I might not worry about it for now. But yeah, so if we come... Out and down because it's gonna go like that that'll probably come out so I'll have to turn that screw back in but I turn the screw up for now and it lines up pretty good I mean like this body line lines up okay not bad close enough and I can open it from the outside so well hi green bean time to wake up Looks like Green Bean's got a low tire here. Uh, we'll have to put some air in that before we move it. Or, well, it's got enough to move 30 feet. We're going to move it 30 feet up front where the air compressor already is. Put some air in that bad boy. Uh, last time this drove is right when I parked it after putting this on. And I drove it 10 feet from the other side of this bush to right here. And I parked it. It's the last time this thing's uh, been started. I want to say that's that's been a month or so too. So now that we got Scorpion up and running, I don't know. I assume that video will have come out first, but you never know. Anyway, we worked on Scorpion, our 2002 town and country. Now we have to work on Old Green Bean here, which that was already popped. I don't. And the radiator fan assembly is in the back. So I don't have to worry about running it over here. But we gotta hook our battery up. And what we gotta do on this old girl here is we need to do the radiator fan and the relay for the radiator fan. Well, might as well we're in here. Let's start checking things. Okay, come on, cow. Make sure we didn't magically leak all of our fluid out. Nope, we're full. Check oil. Make sure we've got oil in there. Yep, and it looks like pretty decent oil, too. Come on, back in you go. Back in we go, and we're in. So, those are the two important ones. It's got plenty of brake fluid in it. Hopefully that battery's still charged. It should be. I did this. Yep. And there we go. That's, that's the relay being a, a stinker. Cold start. Or warm, it's like 80 degrees out. Oh, and it's warmer in here. And there's our new relay. There's some window motors. I think one of them's for this, one of them's for string bean. Which, uh, string bean's my 98 Dodge Grand Caravan SE. I don't think that one's been featured. In fact, I know that one hasn't been featured. I recorded something for it, I didn't like it. So I didn't upload it, and I might redo it. Uh, but uh, that is this one's twin. They're both uh, this uh, PG8 green, except string bean's a long wheelbase, and green bean here is a shorty. All right. Um, got nothing on the cluster. I had to resolder this cluster once, and I think there it goes. Yep. Bad solder joints once again. I've I soldered this when I because when I well when I bought it from auction uh, the cluster didn't work so I took it apart and I resoldered the connector on the end and it appears that it, it is returning. Anyway, she's currently got two hundred and thirty four thousand eight hundred twenty three miles. Like a lot of people like to smack on it right here. You crack the glass that way. Smack on it up here. It does the same thing, and you're only gonna hurt the dash, I guess. Twelve oh one. Got a HVAC light. We're gonna ignore him. Ah, there she is. Healthy as can be. Nice. 
Still got the old cool part sticker on it. Oil was changed in June. I did a lot of oil changes in June. That's good till 238, which we've only put probably, I probably did it about 234, so less than a thousand miles on it. Gotta clean the months long, um, months rest worth of dust off of this. There we go. Nice. Uh, what do we got in here? We got some trans fluid, uh, 530 oil. I see Moog sway bar bushing that I didn't put in because I forgot and these ones that are in it are actually okay. Well, sh I'll shut the hood. Anyway, I'm going to pull this up, get it up into a spot where we can get ready to work on it. I'm not going to work on it today, but we're getting it to the, um, the staging area. We're going to go with that. So That's it for today, I believe. So you'll see me back working on this at some point. I figured I'd take it for a little quick test drive before I, uh, I got it staged up and parked. Uh, everything works, brakes all work. Uh, the only light we got on is a low washer fluid. AC is still blowing ice cold, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got over a half tank of fuel. Yeah, like I said, we just got low washer fluid, so sweet. Everything seems to still be functioning. Nothing, nothing new has occurred since it got parked that I can tell. So, sweet. All right, it's, uh, it's that time. Work on a green bean, our 97 Dodge Caravan. We gotta change the radiator fans because this one right here is locked up, solid, seized. 